Hi friends, uh, welcome to our new video on artificial intelligence. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the uninformed search uh, strategies in uh, artificial intelligence. In that, uh, first we will discuss uh, about breadth, uh, breadth first search. Okay. So, uh, what is uninformed search uh, technique? Uh, uninformed search technique, we are searching without any uh, knowledge or information to reach the objective, right? And this kind of search, it is also known as what blind search or exhaustive search. Uh, or it is also known as brute force algorithm. That is uninformed search algorithm. It is also known as brute force algorithm. Okay. So, uh, uh, in breadth search, uh, the algorithm it will will start from the root node right algorithms ex expand from the root node after the ar afterwards the root node uh, root node successors are expanded okay and this process it will be repeated until the last successor is involved right okay and uh, the data structure that is used to that is most preferable to implement this uh, breadth search algorithm is fifo okay that is first in first out first in first out this is the data structure that is most preferable to implement the uh, breadth first search strategy okay uh, then um, the completeness criteria uh, of the uh, breadth first search algorithm it, uh, it is used to evaluate the algorithm performance okay assume the uh, number of branching factor b it is less than uh, infinity uh, number of branching fac factor b it is less than infinity and uh, the our goal node is located at a depth say d okay depth say d it is less than also infinity then uh, what about the number of nodes uh, that is uh, generated by the breadth search algorithm okay number of nodes that is generated by the breadth search algorithm is b plus uh, square plus up to b raised to d okay and uh, this can be represented as big R of B raised to D. Okay. Big R of B raised. That is the number of nodes that is generated by the BFS. Okay. So, uh, from that, uh, uh, from this, it is clear that uh, the algorithm, uh, the completeness of the algorithm is clear. That is, anyway, we will find the goal node okay anyway uh, we will find the goal node okay that is the bfs i uh, will provide an optimal solution okay we can finally reach the goal node fine so uh, <coughs> consider this um, graph okay how many nodes are there uh, there are 16 nodes are there okay n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 6 n6 n7 n8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay there are total 16 nodes okay we'll start from the uh, that is initial node that is n1 okay we can uh, move uh, the initial node to n1 to our goal node okay our goal node is n9 say n9 it is the goal node okay n9 is the goal node and we have to start from the root node that is initial node that is n1 okay so how uh, that is the bfs algorithm it will uh, expand from the root node and after that it's uh, the successors are expanded and this process it will be repeated until we'll find the goal okay so uh, listen we'll start from the uh, root node okay after that uh, we'll visit what the first that is n1 we'll visit n1 okay then after that we'll visit what n2 right then then n4 n right then n4 okay then n4 that is 3 okay then n5 that is 4 then uh, n6 that is 5 okay then n7 okay then finally and the next is n8 okay 6 then n9 okay uh, it is not 6 6 is here again okay, 6 to n7 6 this is 7 and n8 n no, sorry n9 this is 8 okay so this is our goal node right n9 is the goal node then we'll start from the n1 and its uh, successors are expanded n2 and n3 we n2 and n3 then 
n n four and n five, then n six n seven n eight n n. So start from the root node, expand it. Uh, its successors are expanded, and this uh, expansion, this process, it will be repeated until the last successor is involved. That is until uh, the our goal node is reached. Okay. So um, the algorithm. Anyway, the BFS breadfast search, it will uh, will get a solution. Uh, we will get a solution to the problem if any exists. Okay. So, uh, but the time consumption is very high. Time consumption is high. Okay. Uh, uh, if the number of uh, suppose if the number of branching factor increases, uh, what will happen? Uh, if the number of branch, uh, it will affect the algorithm performance, right? So, uh, uh, obviously, the time com and space complexity. Time and space complexity it will be will increase in um, breadfast search, but we'll find the optimal solution. That is, we will finally we will reach the goal node. Okay, so that's a uh, technique that is used in breadfast search algorithm, and you have to uh, keep in mind that uh, the time and so uh, what uh, the algorithm uh, performance that is uh, the the algorithm it will be complete. Yes, complete completeness is assured that is yes okay and it is optimal what about the opti optimal we'll get an optimal solution it is yes and what about the time and space complexity time and space complexity it with this big of b raised to d where b is the branching factor and d is the depth of the solution okay d is the depth of the solution that is it and the fifo data structure that is used to that is most preferable to implement the bfs algorithm okay that is about we'll get an optimal solution in this way we will uh, traverse each and uh, every node and finally uh, we will reach the goal node okay that is about the breadfast search algorithm clear thanks we will discuss some uh, real applications of uh, breadfast search okay so first uh, uh, it is a simple uh, traversal methods right simple graph traversal method okay so, so the first application is uh, it is used in crawlers and uh, search engines crawlers in search engines okay that is one of the bfs uh, it's one of the main algorithm that is used to index the web pages okay that is uh, it will start from the source page right traversal will start from the source page and it will follow all the links uh, associated with that page Okay, so here each web page each uh, page can be considered as a uh, node in the graph okay so it is one of the main technique that is uh, used in search engines okay then second application is in gps uh, navigation systems okay Uh, GPS navigation systems that is uh, it is uh, BFS it is used as an uh, algorithm that is used to find the uh, neighboring locations okay used to find the neighboring locations by using this GPS system okay then third application is on uh, networking okay networking in networking what we use call packets right packets for uh, communication so uh, the packets it will follow a traversal method to reach the uh, networking node to reach all other networking nodes right so the traversal method uh, that is used in uh, uh, <coughs> networking is bfs breadfast search and it is uh, it is used as an algorithm that is used to communicate the broadcasted packets across all the nodes in the network so it is used in networking too and also <coughs> last application is peer to peer communication peer to peer networking okay peer to peer communication and all that okay so these are the some uh, real applications on uh, of uh, breadfast search okay first is it is used in crawlers crawl sorry crawlers in search engines second gps navigation systems networking and peer to peer communication okay so that is about the uh, breadfast search algorithm okay then thank you